Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing another viewer request with Crafters Square. From our returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So today, you guys, like I said, I'm doing another viewer uh, request and I was asked to do the unicorn from Crafters Square. So today we're going to be um, looking at what's inside this kit as well as start some of the steps in the instructions. So like all these other kits, it comes with a plastic needle, a yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, instruction sheet, and again, it's also a, considered a choking hazard with small parts, not for children under three years old. So please be aware with that. Um, as you know, I don't use the plastic parts because I do intend on giving this to a baby. So um, I'm excited about this. It's got a lot of color. Um, first that I've seen, and it's a, it's, it's a horse pretty much. So um, that is a different kind of shaping in itself. So I'm very curious to see how they have us um, build it and put it together. So let's open this. I actually did not open this yet. Normally I open it and I do some of the pieces that um, are like two of each so that I save some video time. But we're just going to open this now. So like in every kit it comes with these instructions. Here is the stuffing. It feels like a lot of stuffing too. They give you a lot of Wait, let's first get rid of this. Here is the plastic hook. Comes with some yellow. Comes with some beautiful, we've got some green, pink, and blue in there. And then it comes with a lot of white yarn. So hopefully this is enough to um, build the unicorn. Otherwise I may have some white, so we'll see. And then, of course, here is the needle with the um, plastic eyes, or beads, as they call it. <laughs> um, yeah, and again, I won't be using these, but I will be using this needle. And then, of course, you, guys, you need to get a different color of yarn for a marker. So I'm going to go and grab a piece of that. So, um, just a moment. <laughs> So I just cut my piece of different color yarn to use as a marker. So for now we can set aside the stuff that we don't, that we're not going to use right now. I'm not going to be using this right now. I'm not going to be using this right now. Let's see. So these are typically the same instructions that we have for every kit. It starts out the same way. So if you've been following me and have seen these videos, then hopefully by now, if you're not a pro, you at least know how to start this off. And then of course, before we start, like in any video, I'm going to show you some basic stitches so that we can be somewhat um, advanced when we do this unicorn. And then, of course, it also has the steps to build it. There's five steps. Um, it's looking fairly simple. You've got your head, your body, your legs, which in this case is going to be four, right? <laughs> and it doesn't tell you that. But a uh, crochet horn, I guess that's the unicorn. Um, and then the crochet nose. So this actually doesn't tell you which color you're using. So you just have to base it off of the picture. But for some um, instructions lately, it hasn't been showing the color. So I guess that all makes sense. Why show the color? You can figure it out. <laughs> anyway, they wanted to save on ink, I guess. Okay, so we're going to learn some stitches 
just in case you are unfamiliar with these kits and really a beginner in crocheting. So um, let's do this. I'm going to take my ring finger and pinky and my thumb and place it on the bottom of the yarn here. And then I'm going to take my index and my middle finger and about an inch apart hold it like this. So I'm going to teach you guys how to cast on your first chain on your hook so that we can start to learn how to do the chain stitch. So what you're going to do is you will put your needle perpendicular to your yarn and then you're going to be doing one of these. A little down, up, and around to make it kind of loop around that hook there nice and loose it's moving so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take my middle finger and kind of hold this this spot here just so we can let go with with the this hand so you see how this is kind of crossing okay so I'm just gonna gather up some yarn around my finger and then what we're going to do is I like to have as little excess piece as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the end of this. I'm going to pinch it. And you just want to push that loop to where you're, where you're pinching it gets close enough to the hook. So we have, see, now we have only a little piece. I like that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pinch this intersection where it's crossing. I want to pinch it and I want to leave enough room as you see here because I'm going to yarn over now and I'm going to pull this yarn through this loop. So do this with me. Pull through the loop and there you go. Don't tighten up anything yet. What we're going to do is you're going to want to hold on to your, your um, needle or your hook or your crochet needle like this we want to push this knot as close as we can to the end of this excess so with your middle finger and your thumb now pinch this end as much as tightly as you can and then with the other hand we're going to kind of force this knot and we're going to slide it down towards your thumb just keep sliding it down towards your thumb till it gets tighter and tighter. And once that knot gets a little too tight or tight enough, then we're going to take this end and we're going to pull it and make it even more tight. Don't pull it too, too tight. Just make it taut enough to where now this knot is going to unravel. It's good. It's secure. So then I'm going to take my index and my thumb and we're going to slide this up the hook so this is how you start your first chain on your hook look at that no longer is a beginner all right so now I'm going to show you how to do the chain stitch okay so we're going to cast on some chain stitches and it's this right here. All it is is pull, um, yarning over and pulling up a loop and doing that repeat, re repeatedly. <laughs> so just so that this isn't flopping around, I like to, when I'm starting off, I like to pinch the knot and pull it down a little bit so that that loop stays open because if it flops around, it can like, you know, you see the hole isn't that big. So I like to hold on to that knot and make sure that hole gets bigger. Okay, so you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull this through the chain and we just created one. So what I want you guys to do is just make a bunch of them and you'll see where you need practice because the idea is to make uniform chains throughout so that when you do a project 
it is uniform and again if you guys are like watching me and like whoa slow down um, I'll do it again you just yarn over and pull through that loop yarn over pull through that loop yarn over pull through that loop yarn over pull through that loop so when you do a bunch of them you can go back and check your work it's always good to check your work but you see I've been doing this for quite some time so my chains are nice and even so some when I was starting out there are chains that were tight loose all over the place so you just want to keep practicing so that the chains end up becoming even okay so I have a few set up here and I'm going to teach you guys um, the next stitch which is the single crochet stitch so it's always second chain from hook doing the single crochet stitch and what that means is if you look at the instructions here is your little loop from the hook they didn't put it in this first one they put it in the second one and the reason why that is is because you need the height when you make that row so you always chain one or need one chain to make the height of that row and then you can start your single crochet stitch so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm what they're talking about here so again you need that chain to make the height as I kind of maneuver this chain to be 90 degrees from the row you see what I'm doing now like that's the height of a single crochet stitch if you didn't have that and it was flat you're gonna have a row that looks like like an angle like if my fingers was an angle it's gonna like look your rows gonna bow out like this and pinch at the end but with that chain now it's gonna look like a perpendicular like a 90 degree row so in the second chain now this is called the, this pretty side with the braiding is called the right side if you flip it to the back this is the back side or the wrong side you'll see in the instructions back side wrong side either one so what I like to do because most instructions want you to put your hook in the front yeah that's great but then you lose the nice braiding and I don't like losing it and this is just a general thing I'm not talking particularly about these kits but just generally for me I like to put the the hook in the back side so we count one chain we count two chains so two chains from the hook I'm just gonna stick my hook into the back side of that that stitch like that then I'm gonna yarn over pull up a loop and then I'm going to yarn over again and draw through two loops and I just created my single crochet stitch so you see what I said when um, we use that chain to get the height so this looks like an like it's a hitting those 90 degrees so it looks like a box that's what we want if you didn't do that it would kind of like be squished pinched at this side and it'll grow out okay so let's do another one now in the next chain I want to stick the hook though in the back side the wrong side I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop I'm going to yarn over again and draw through two loops so now we have two chains let's do that again I'll show you guys so the next stitch I'm going to stick the hook in the back side or the wrong side I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again draw through two loops now we have three you can tell by the braiding one two three let's do one more so on the next stitch I'm going to put the hook into the wrong side yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again 
and draw through two loops. So now we have four single crochet stitches. Cute, right? All right, so let's go now and let's learn how to do an increasing stitch. This is very easy. It looks a little complicated, but really all it is is sticking, um, it's doing the single crochet twice in one stitch. So once you've completed a stitch, you stick the hook right back into the same stitch and do another one. So let's do that example now. I'm going to do another single crochet stitch into the next stitch. So I'll put it right here in the wrong side, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. Now we're going to do the increasing stitch, which is sticking it back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So we just did an increasing stitch. Let's do that again. So into the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet into the wrong side, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, draw through two loops. So the increasing stitch, we stick it back into the stitch we just used, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we just did two increasing stitches and you see how it's so it's bending now if it's bending like this you did it right if it's bending like this and you didn't mean to do that then you know that you must have accidentally um, put your hook back into one of the existing stitches that you just used so that's also a good tip so now I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten this out, I'm going to do a single crochet stitch and then we're going to do the decreasing stitch. So into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. Okay, so now for the decreasing stitch, what it is, is you are doing a single crochet stitch, but when you stick your needle in the first time and drop a loop, the second time we're going to not yarn over, we're going to stick it into the next stitch over, pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and draw through all three loops. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's stick your hook into the next stitch. We're going to do the decreasing stitch now wrong side, yarn over, pull up a loop, now into the next stitch over. You're going to stick your hook into the wrong side, yarn over, pull up a loop, then we're going to yarn over and draw through all three. And that's the decreasing stitch. We just took two stitches just to make the one. Let's do that one more time. Into the next stitch, you're going to put your hook into the wrong side, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're going to go into the next stitch over, put the hook into the wrong side, then we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and draw through all three loops. So now, as you can see, you can tell if you did this right, because if it starts wanting to curl this way, if it starts scooping up like this, it means that you have, and it's really hard to accidentally do this, but you have succeeded in making a decreasing stitch. So just because I have one left, I'm just going to do a single crochet one more time for you guys. Stick it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So now we have our practice stitches. And you guys can pause it here. You can keep practicing, make a longer chain. I like, you know, when I was learning, I did a long chain over and over and over and over again until I started, started seeing that they were nice and even. 
and then I would do single crochet stitches all the way down like whatever stitch I learned I would just it's like writing learning to write letters you just by repetition do it till it looks better but the good thing about crocheting is you can always remove your work you can always go back so I'm gonna remove this hook here and because we're now gonna show you how to start off these um, these body parts I'm just gonna unravel everything just pull the end and if you make your stitches nice and clean it'll be easy to just pull this out without an issue I know it's so hard to see all that work go away but it's okay all right so now let's learn how to start these body pieces off So here in the instruction, it tells you to yarn over your finger twice. I'm going to yarn over this twice. And I'm going to try to shorten this up. Like I said, I don't like to have too much excess, wasted excess, because um, I found in some of these kits that yarn is precious and you cannot waste it. <laughs> so now I have this little piece here. I'm going to take my ring finger and kind of pinch that in place. Meanwhile, I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to slide it underneath the yarn and then I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to pull this hook back under two of them like this and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through that loop. So now we have just sealed a two ring in this magic I call it a magic ring because it's gonna you can change the diameter of this we're gonna tighten this up after we complete all these stitches so now what we just did is we did steps one two is just hold, uh, showing you how to hold it three four and then now we have to do five so, like I said, before starting a single crochet stitch, you always have to do a chain up. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going to do a single chain. And now we can start our single crochet stitch. So that's going to be um, step six through nine. And we're going to do it six times. And they say six times because most of these circles here, you guys, start off with six. This row has six. This one has eight. So we'll have to remember that. This one has six. This one has six. And then the nose has eight. But since we're starting with the head, we're going to do six. So, again... Step six through nine, we're gonna do single crochet stitches. And I'll show you that here. So we're gonna stick the hook into the magic ring. We're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. And now we have our first single crochet stitch. We need five more. Again, stick your hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over draw through two loops we have two we got to do four more into the magic ring yarn over pull up a loop yarn over draw through two loops now we got to do three more into the magic ring yarn over pull up a loop yarn over draw through two loops so we have four we need to do two more into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. Now we have five, we got to do one more into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So now we're going to show, I'm going to show you how this magic ring works, but before I do that, I want to count and make sure that I have six stitches. 
So from the hook, I'm going to count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what you're going to do is pull this a little bit till you start seeing movement in one of those two, two rings. Once you start seeing one move, as you see, it's the one back here. I'm going to want to pull this end out, this end. Okay. So I'm going to pinch it. I'm just going to start pulling that end out till this ring gets smaller. And then you see that second string finally moving. Try to pull it as much as you can till that ring closes. And then what you're going to want to do is take this piece now and we're going to pull that till the ring tightens. And you can see that it's tightening by the hole. It's magically disappeared. And that's why I call it the magic ring. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we actually completed step 10. We're going to do step 11 and 12. And what this is called, they don't mention, this is actually called a slip stitch. So when you create these rings and they're not continuous, they're separate rows, we have to do a slip stitch. So again, count back six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to stick the hook into the sixth stitch. Front and back loops. That braid is... The braid actually, the parts are called the front loop and the back loop. You want to put the hook through both front and back loops. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to draw through all loops on the hook. And that's a slip stitch. So now we've just completed this ring. So then it tells you to do step 13 before 14. But I feel like for beginners that might get confusing. 13, all it is, is doing that chain up. We do the chain up so that we can do the next row of single crochet stitches. But I feel if you are a beginner and we do that chain, you might put the marker in the wrong chain. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to take my different color yarn. And it needs to be a different color from your project so that you don't confuse it. And then I'm going to take that last stitch I made here, this one. I'm going to put the needle through the front and back loops and then I'm going to feed one end through it. So you want to hold one end down and just pull the end, other end through. And that's how you make your marker. And this is so that you know where you be, um, end your next row. So we just completed um, 14, let's finish 13, which is basically doing this chain. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, what do you do with all this? You can cut it off, but this can loosen. You never want to leave a loose piece of yarn on your project unattended. <laughs> unattended, unsecured, because it could end up unraveling your work or loosening up your work and you don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet it in this ring for the next row. And it might be complicated, but it really isn't. So I'm going to take this and you see between this yarn and this hook, I'm just going to lay it in between this way. So that when I do this chain, it's going to kind of hide it, right? So let's do our chain. And now we can do our next row of single crochet. And I'll show you how to hide this excess around the ring. Okay, so let's flip this over. 
Now for our first row, we did six. And then for the second row, we need 12. So it's pretty much double, which means we have to do our increasing stitch every stitch. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's do our first single crochet stitch into this next stitch here, front and back loops, stick your hook in. This excess piece, again, I'm laying it alongside those loops and then I'm just going to simply yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. We have our first single crochet stitch for row two, but we have to do the increasing stitch. So stick your hook back into that same stitch. So where you can see if you pull it, this spot here is where we have to put our hook. That was the last spot we put our hook in. So put your hook in that hole. Keep this excess along side those loops there. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. So we just did two stitches in the same stitch. That's the increasing stitch. So now that we have two down, we need 10 more stitches, which means we're going to do this increasing stitch five more times. So into the next stitch, put your hook in front and back loops. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, then we're going to increase stitch again, stick it back into that same stitch you put your hook in last time, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we have four stitches now, we need eight, so we need to do this four more times. So into the next stitch, front and back loops, put your hook in, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, then put your hook back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two loops. So now we have six, we need six more, so we need to do this three more times, the increasing stitch three more times. And again, I'm still trying to hide this excess piece and try to like work with the markers to get out of your way. I know it's a lot, especially for a beginner, but you know, I'm struggling too. So <laughs> it's okay. Into the next stitch, front and back loops, stick your needle in. Then we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we're going to do the increasing stitch into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So now we have eight stitches. We need four more. We're going to do this two more times, you guys. So into that next stitch, front and back loops, put your hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. Then we're going to put it back into that same stitch to our increasing stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So now we are going to do this one more time because we have 10, we need 12. You're going to put your hook into that next stitch there and you're going to remove the marker because it's done. You don't need it anymore. If you leave it there, it's just going to stay there. <laughs> I had uh, someone ask me a question, um, but yeah, you could just leave it there. It's just going to stay there as long as you don't tuck it away like we're doing with this. You can pull it out at any time. Um, I like to use one marker because there's no need to leave the marker in there. So I'll remove it fully and put it into the next row. But yeah, you want to be careful that you don't 
crochet your marker into the project because then it'll be hard to get it out. And then of course if it's a different color, you're going to have this weird color just sticking out on your project. But yeah, so yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, and then we're going to stick it into that same stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. So now we have our 12 stitches. So what we're going to need to do now is count back 12 and we're going to do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stick it through there. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through all loops and we've created our second row. You can see that this is clearly the first row and this outer ring is the second row. So now I got to put my marker back in. Put it into the last stitch we've made pull one end all the way through and then we can continue on to row three. So looking at row three, we have 18 stitches, which means we have to increase by six. So every other stitch, we're going to do an increase. And then just to let you know that one way to tell, these little boxes here are pretty much like the legend. So an increasing stitch is an X with a carrot on the bottom and a decreasing stitch is an X with a carrot on top. So what that means is since we're doing row 13, you see how there's an X with the carrot at the bottom? That means we have to do our increasing stitch. And in this case, for row three, we have increasing stitch, single crochet stitch. Increase, increasing stitch, single crochet stitch. Increasing stitch, single crochet stitch, and then it continues throughout the ring. So that's how I know that we are going to start with the increasing stitch and then a single crochet stitch. So I'm glad I went through how many, um, how many of these kits to figure out what these instructions are. So we are going to chain one like we do with every row of single crochet stitches. Then we're going to stick our needle into the next stitch and again I'm going to have this excess sit along here so I can tuck it in there. And we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, and we're straight away doing the increasing stitch so I'm going to go back into that same stitch yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we have two single crochet stitches. We're going to go into a single crochet stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have three. Now in this next stitch, we're going to do the increasing stitch. So first single crochet stitch. And then we're going to do the increasing stitch. So now we should have five. The next one is just a single crochet stitch. So here we have six. And the next one we're doing 
the increasing stitch so let's do this single crochet stitch first we have our seven and then we're going to do an increasing stitch so that's eight and you always want to try to keep count you guys if you ever lose count just count back your stitches on your hook so we got eight the next one is going to be a single crochet stitch only that's nine the next one is going to be an increasing stitch so we have ten then back into that same stitch 11 the next one is going to be single crochet stitch 12 next one is going to be an increasing stitch 13 into the same stitch 14 next one is going to be a single crochet stitch 15 next one is going to be an increasing stitch 16 into the same stitch 17 and the last stitch is going to be single crochet stitch 18 remove the marker So now we're going to count back 18 stitches and then do a slip stitch. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay. Then we're going to mark it off. And then we can move on to row four. So row four, we have to have 24 stitches, which means we are increasing by another six. So let's see where it has us increasing. So this is row four. We increase straight away. I don't know if you can see that, okay. Straight away, then we have one two single crochet stitch and then the third one we have an increasing stitch one two on the third increasing stitch one two on the third increasing stitch one two on the third so it's every three after the first one after the first one we do an increasing stitch okay I'm just getting some yarn here. I always like to like pack it. It's a little exaggerated. <sighs> you don't have to do this. I like to do this. Okay. So we're going to chain one like we always do with our single crochet stitches. And then straight away we're going to do the first one in increasing stitch. So we have one into the same stitch two so we have two and then we're going to do two single crochet stitches one two and then we're going to do um, on this next one the increasing stitch so this will be five into the same stitch six okay is that six one two five six yes so the next two are going to be single crochet stitches so we have seven eight 
The next one is going to be an increase. Nine. Into the same stitch, ten. The next two are going to be single crochet stitches. Eleven. Twelve. Next one's going to be an increasing stitch. Thirteen. Into the same stitch, fourteen. The next two are going to be single crochet stitches. Fifteen. Sixteen. The next stitch is going to be an increasing stitch. Seventeen. Into this same stitch. Eighteen. The next two stitches are going to be a single crochet. Did I just totally... Yeah, single crochet stitches. And I lost count too. <laughs> I think this is 19. <laughs> 20. The next one is going to be an increasing stitch. 21. Into the same stitch, 22. And the next one, the next two are going to be single crochet stitches, 23. And last one, 24. Remove the marker. So now we have 24 stitches. Let's count backwards and do a slip stitch. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Yarn over, pull through all loops, and then we're going to mark up our last stitch. This is moving along, you guys. I'm, I'm so glad that. <laughs> Listen, you need to look back at my like the three animals I did, and even after that, I was still figuring out new stuff from this instruction. So, if you feel like you're struggling, please still try to stick with it. It's not easy. <sighs> All right. Over time it will be, but I was struggling there a bit. Okay, so row 5 through 7, this is going to be fairly easy. And it's crazy because even row 8, it's all 24 stitches. So from rows 5 through row 8, we're going to do 24 stitches. I hope, I don't know why they did... I really hope there's nothing special about rows 5 through 7 versus 8 because they all have the same number of stitches. So, this should be easy, you guys. So, for the next uh, four rows that we do, we just have to do 24 stitches. The difficulty is going to be keeping track of how many rows we do. So this is row 5. If you say it out loud too, that might help. Row 5. Chain 1. And then let's single crochet 24 stitches. And I'm just going to count them out at this point. 1. 2. 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 
y Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oops. Uh uh. I don't know what number I'm in now. Oh, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, remove the marker, okay, so as you see your project's going to want to curl in, this is the pretty side, it's the right side. This side is the wrong side, the back side. You just want to flip this out. Make sure you flip the pretty side out. So now we're going to count back 24 stitches and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so that's row five. Let's do, uh, let's mark this off. Never forget, even though it's the same number of stitches, you could still lose your stitch placement and things can get out of whack. So just make sure you put in your marker every time. We're going to do row 6 and we're going to do 24 single crochet stitches. Just getting my yarn ready. I hate grabbing. I keep grabbing so that's why I normally like to have a bunch on my finger. Okay. So we're going to chain one like we always do. And we're going to count 24 single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 remove the marker okay so we are going to count back 24 stitches and do a slip stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And in case you're wondering, it's you're always going to think it's that one next to it. Like this is the 24 stitch here, but you see there's one here. That's the chain up. That's not actually a stitch. Yarn over, pull through all loops. We're going to mark it off. And then I'm going to stick this into the last stitch we made. Okay. So you guys, if this is going too fast for you, or too slow for you. Um, if you click on the window that you're looking at, you'll see a little gear. If you click on that gear, um, I think it's called play playback or playtime or video speed. I don't know, one of them. Um, and then you can change it. You can change it from fast to slow. So. If I'm moving too fast for you or too slow for you, you can definitely change how the video plays so you can get through it better. But now I'm going to do row 7. Row 7 of 24. We're going to chain one first, and now we're going to count back. We're going to count 24 single crochet stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, remove the marker, Now I'm going to count back to 24 stitches and we're going to do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to put the marker Okay, so now we have to do row 8, and we're going to do 24 stitches. So we're going to chain 1, and we're going to do another 24 stitches of single crochet stitches. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
22, 23, 24, pull up the marker, okay. So now I'm going to count back to 24 and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh man, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. I'm going to mark this off. And then we're going to do row 9. So for row 9, we have to do 18 stitches, which means we're de decreasing 6. So let's find out where they want you to decrease. So row 9. Alright. Straight away, we do the... Decreasing stitch, one, two, decreasing stitch, one, two, decreasing stitch, one, two, decreasing stitch, one, two, decreasing stitch, so um, every third one, and the first one is a decreasing stitch. So what we're going to do, we're going to chain one like we always do. Then we're going to start off right away with a decreasing stitch. And just to refresh your memory, into the next stitch, stick that hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now into the next stitch over, put your hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. We did our first um, decreasing stitch. The next two stitches we're doing single crochet, so this is two, three. Now the next stitch is going to be a decreasing stitch. So again, stick your needle into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, stick your needle into the next stitch over. Yarn over, pull up the loop, then yarn over and draw through three loops. So that's four. The next two are going to be single crochet stitches. Five. Six. Next one is going to be a decreasing stitch. Again, I'll show you this one more time. Stick your needle into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Stick your needle into the next stitch over, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through all three loops. And I believe that's seven, but I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Okay, next two is just going to be single crochet stitches. Eight. Nine. Decreasing stitch next. Ten. Eleven. 
two single crochet stitches, 11, 12, decreasing stitch, 13, Next two is single crochet stitches, 14, 15, the next one is a decreasing stitch, 16, the next two stitches are single crochet stitches, 17, and 18. Pull out the marker. Okay, so we have 18 stitches now. Let's count that back and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to yarn over and slip stitch, and then we're going to mark this off. For the last row, row 10, we have 12 stitches, which means we're going to subtract 6. We have 6 decreasing stitches. Let's see where they want us to do it. Here's row 10, straight away, decreasing stitch, single crochet, decreasing stitch, single crochet, decreasing stitch, single crochet, decreasing stitch. So every other stitch is a decreasing stitch. So, we're gonna yarn over, pull up a chain, and then we're gonna do a decreasing stitch, stitch right off the bat, and just because we just started a new row, let me show you how to do that again. Stick your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Stick your hook into the next stitch over, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through three loops. We've got one. And the next one's going to be a single crochet stitch, two. And the next one is going to be a decreasing stitch, three. Next one is a single crochet stitch. Four. Next stitch is a decreasing stitch. Five. Next stitch is going to be a single crochet stitch. Six. Next one is a decreasing stitch. Seven. Next stitch is going to be a single crochet, crochet stitch, eight. Next one is going to be a decreasing stitch, nine. Next stitch is going to be a single crochet stitch, ten. Next one's going to be a decreasing stitch. 11. Mm -hmm. 
And the next stitch is going to be a single crochet stitch, 12. Move the marker. And I just dropped it. It's great. <laughs> So now we should have 12. I'm going to count back 12 and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. Okay, so now that we've actually completed the last row, and just learning ahead from our other kits, just make sure that if this is 10, this doesn't say 11, because that means you have to build it into each other. In this case, we don't, so we can move on to actually row 15, uh, step 15 on this side. So if you noticed, we did all these steps up till 14, and I didn't even talk about 15. 15 is what you do in the end. So... I'm going to leave some excess here because I'm going to use it to sew my pieces together. Okay. And then what it wants you to do is yarn over, pull through the loop, and pull all the way through. All the way through. I'm going to just tighten it up a little bit. No, you don't need to go too tight because we're going to crochet this later but we just completed you guys the first part which is the head congratulations <laughs> so um i'm looking at the time frame here and um uh like i said in my previous video i have to chop these up because um because these are long videos and my editor doesn't allow me to do too much because then it starts crashing. So you know what? I think part two, we're going to continue with crochet body because this is actually um, bigger, well, at least looking bigger than the head. So I'm going to try doing some body parts for you guys. So. Let's do the crochet legs. I'll do one. There's four of them, so I'm gonna do one for you guys, and then I'm gonna do the other three off off camera. But just trying to get through um, these other body parts before we call it a day on this video. So again, we're going to go back to our instructions, our basic instructions. We've got a yarn over twice. Pinch it with that um, middle finger. I'm going to stick the needle under all these three and then pull back with that, that yarn piece there. Pull it under the two. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull a loop through that. So I've completed my magic ring. I'm going to remove the magic ring off my finger. And then we have to do six single crochet stitches. So first we have to do our chain like we do with all our single crochet stitches. Then I'm going to stick the hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we've got the one. And then I'm going to do this five more times. Two, three, four, five, six. So basically, what we did is we did six single crochet stitches into this magic ring. So let me just double check that there's six, three, oops, three, six, all right. So now I'm going to pull this end piece, see which one of these two is going to pull. OK, 
Okay, so it's that first one here. Again, I'm going to take this side only and I'm going to pull, pull it up until the other one goes away. You see the one behind it is now moving. Keep doing that until the ring kind of closes as much as it can. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to grab this excess end and then pull this. So that one will follow and we're going to pull it till the ring is tight. So that hole in the middle is gone. It's pretty much gone. So now that we have that done, we gotta do a slip stitch. So let's count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stick your hook into the front and back loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. So we've got our first row there. And then I'm gonna mark it with our marker. Put it through the, the eye of the needle. Okay. Then we're gonna put this piece, I mean this needle, through the last stitch. Pull through that piece there. And then we're gonna start our next row. So the instructions for that is saying we're gonna do two more rows of six so this is gonna be easy. I mean it is but it's not because it's tiny and as we know it's hard to crochet with tiny stuff. <sighs> do anything with tiny stuff. So I'm gonna try to feed this into my circle like I did the last one. So we have to yarn over and do a chain first like we always do. Now we can do our single crochet stitches. One, two, Three, four, five, Six, pull out the marker. Okay. Remember, it's going to want to curl in. Make sure the pretty side is out and the wrong side, the ugly side, is in. We're going to count back six and do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is going to get so tiny. Very tiny. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to mark this off. So now we have row two. We have one more row of six. I'm going to take this needle. Put it through the last stitch we made. And I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do six single crochet stitches. One, two, three, 
three. Four. Five. And then six. Pull out the marker. Then I want to count back six and do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness, it's hard to to see. Turn over, pull through all loops, and then because this is the last row, I'm just going to cut this off, yarn over, pull all the way through, and we have just made our first leg. And then we got to make three more of these. Again, you guys, I'm going to do three off camera. But next one we're going to do, um, I'm going to do the horn. Well, why don't we just do the nose next? Let's see how long that takes us. Okay, so we're gonna do the crochet nose just because I have the white. The crochet horn is gonna be yellow, and before I switch to that, I have the white out here, we're gonna do the nose. <laughs> okay, so this time though, we're gonna do eight. So it's the same yarn over your finger twice. Let's hold it down with your middle finger. Then we're gonna take our hook, slip it under there, grab it back, grab that third piece, bring it under the two, then we're going to yarn over and pull a loop up through that, and we can slip our magic ring off the finger. So now instead of doing six this time, we're going to do eight single crochet stitches. So we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do eight single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight. Let's double check to see that we have our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so then now we can pull our magic ring like this. Okay. So this one here, I'm going to pull out that one end so that the second one will follow. It's closing, you can see there in the background. And pull it till that second row is close. Like that. And then we're going to take this excess yarn. And we're going to pull this loop now. And then we're going to pull that till it's till that hole is gone like this. So now we can do a slip stitch after we count eight stitches from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, again, I'm going to hide this excess piece here. 
we're gonna do a slip stitch we're gonna yarn over pull through all the loops and then I'm gonna mark this off okay I'm gonna pull this through and then we can do row two so for row two for this nose we have to do eight stitches so it looks like it's easy rows two through three two and three rather are gonna be eight stitches so I'm going to chain one like we always do and then I'm going to stick this into the next stitch again we're tucking this one away here so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops that's one let's do seven more two three four five six seven one more eight pull out the marker make sure that the good side is facing out let's count back eight and do a slip stitch one two three four five six seven eight I'm going to put a marker and we're going to do another eight on this last row so we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna do eight single crochet stitches one two three four Seven. One more. Eight. Remove the marker. Okay, then we count back eight and we'll do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
yarn over, draw through all loops. And since this is our last row, we're going to close this off. Yarn over, pull all the way through. Okay, so you guys, um, I'm going to actually do the horn in the next video because we are getting a little long in this video and I don't want my editing to crash. <laughs> so, just to go over, we did the head, we did the legs, well, I'm gonna do the other three off camera, and then we did the nose, this is a big nose. So, in the next video, we're gonna do the crochet body and the horn, and then part three, we're gonna put this all together so you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for part two of this making of unicorn with Crafter Square. This is Ism Spy Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.